All right, what's up, guys? Chad Mark here. Um, it's Sunday morning at around 9:30 my time, California time. So we're just gonna recap here. Oh, where did I put it? Oh well, we're gonna recap here uh, Friday's trade and then what I'm looking for basically coming into this week. So uh, if we're looking right here at the chart, we got this is our close and we had those amazing job numbers. So we gapped up what? This is a pretty big amount, like 20 points, I believe, on the SPX. And if you look, these were my levels. I posted these pre-market, these four lines. These were my pre-market levels. I posted these, I think, at 6 o'clock my time. And these were just my targets if we had the momentum and we were going to continue in this Sierra uptrend right here, which we did all day long, basically. So we got to the 27.55, and that's where we opened. And right when we got through that, I took some calls. I took them pretty early. At 6.37 is when I took my call. I took 30 contracts of the 27.85s at uh, 30 cents. So it was $900 trade. Again, nothing's too big yet, just as we're still on kind of a chop, but I mean, I think we kind of got rid of the chop um, on Friday. So we got that done. I got in there. Um, I took, I believe, right when we tested this 2771 resistance, I think actually it was at, I know the time of day it was. Yes, actually right here at 9, at nine o'clock. So on this 30-minute candle right here, I took some profit. I took 10 off, so I closed a third of my position at 85 cents. 85 cents right here just I was trimming it right into resistance just in case it did knock its head against here and we had a little bit of trouble getting through I was going to lock some stuff in and that basically covered my entire cost and I was writing free so I was holding 20 contracts into like the rest of the day and if we look I mean we did it it had a little trouble had a little like shooting star falling do star doji right here and we retested and then we just we ramped and if you look at my target from pre-market it, it was uh, 2786.20 and we closed at 2786.57 on a $2,800 index. A 37 cent difference isn't too bad. So I was actually pretty excited that we got just right to there. Um, and we're looking good going into Monday. Let me zoom out on this chart a little bit. Going into Monday, like since we closed here, if we open above, we get a little tiny gap up. Or even if we open flat on the futures, we're looking pretty good. Like the gap starts at 28. Uh, 07 and after that the gap fill is 2819 ish but I'm thinking if we get into that gap I think we are gonna test this level right back here which is the mid 2800s like 2840 um, and that would be great for a long so I will be looking long coming into Monday morning if we open above this if we open like in between this we got down a little bit I probably won't be taking anything until we either retest this 2771 or break out of the 2786 let me zoom back in so it's a little bit closer. Oh, whoops. So we're going to, like, if we open in here, I will probably wait till we retest one of these uh, before I go long or short or anything. But I am hoping for a long. I mean, we're right at this neckline. There's going to be a little bit of resistance. But it, it's, we're, like, the momentum from Friday is just outrageous. If you look at this, I mean, we got this nice cup and handle on the 30. We're right at the neckline. The numbers were good. And then we also have POTUS meeting with uh, North Korea. I believe that's this week, and if the, something good comes of that, I really think we have some momentum to get back to the mid 2800s. Um, I really believe that. Um, and then, what was I going to say? I was going to say, oh, the one thing I did wrong. The one thing I did wrong was I took the 2785s, and I mean, if you're looking, we closed at on um, Thursday the high 2730s. That's a that's a that's a 45 point move in the SPX. I mean, which it has been doing in the last like month. But that is that that is just outrageous and way too far out. I should have taken the the better trade was the twenty seven seventy fives. If we would have taken, they were trading around eighty five cents. So instead of taking thirty of the twenty seven eighty fives, instead of taking thirty of those at uh, thirty cents for nine hundred bucks, we could have taken ten contracts of the twenty seven seventy fives, which was would have been a better. That's in here. So if we get through this, the twenty seven seventy fives, there is no resistance. But those that's pretty much guaranteeing if we get through there, you're going to close in the money. And we're not going to have to worry about any like premium decay when you're that far in the money. And I, that was just a, a bad move by me because they went from, if we would, because they were trading around 85 cents when I bought mine. Um, that's 850 bucks for 10. They went up to 20 bucks. That could have been $850 into 20K if you were riding it the whole day. But that's a little bit, I mean, I think with the 30 contracts, I think I cleared 1200, which isn't bad. I'm not going to complain about $1,200 on a Friday. I mean, come on. But that's just something to note. Like, Picking a strike, you really do need to pay attention, especially on expiration day. Look at these levels of support and resistance. I don't want to, you don't want to trade at this resistance level. You want to trade 
under it. So if it gets to that resistance level, you're in the money and you're not losing as much premium. That's a big point. And that was a mistake on my part. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. I'm going to be looking long Monday morning. And I will probably be looking for a Friday strike as well on SPX. So that's basically what I'm looking at coming into tomorrow morning. And I will uh, see you guys all in the, in, the, in the room or on Twitter tomorrow morning.